thing is, yeah, you got to understand the backstory, isn't it? Taser came on our pod. Yes. And he came in there loud. Ready to oh, go. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. was early in our pod journey. Yeah, he yeah, came yeah, in yeah. and said, yo, bam, bam, iPod. Remember he sat yeah. and said, iPod. <laughs> I said, okay. He's, he, we sat there, we was like, he's him. He's really, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really a he's, brother. He's a shot. He's definitely yeah, one of the yeah, shots. Yeah, one of the shots. So we came back and we were like, bro, it's a bit different now still. We got the guns in our waist as well. <laughs> pulled yeah, up in there, pulled up in there, but it was on a bad boy's team. <laughs> Bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> what you, what gonna, you gonna do? Let's <laughs> <What you gonna, laughs> <laughs> say Raven. In three, two, one, and what's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Expect Foolishness. I'm right. Come on. I'm right. Take that. Take that. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boys <laughs> Don't come out to play <laughs> What's going on what? you man? What are you men saying? Don't ask me what am I saying bro You know what's going on right now You know where we are You know what the people want fam Bro How do I know what the people want bro? Cause we- you know fam How? I don't know. I don't you know what they know. want from us. They, bro. Ex- they expect foolishness from us weekly, bro. It's true. It's true. How can you possibly know? We give random it's content true. in every video, bro. I so have you got like something random that you're just thinking about right now? Hold on. We got let's just warm up the team. Oh, How, how's the kitchen. Wale, bro? Aye, we ain't even checking. What's Wale? What are you saying? I'm in the club. Huh? Yeah. So I'm in the club now, and he's concerned about my welfare. So you're in the club. Oh, the special um <laughs> the tra- the Travis special, yeah. he cares about you, he's club gonna call you and Bro, that means you got integrity, we boy. We spoke on the phone this week as well. That's hilarious. Shut the front door. <laughs> oh, oh, my so God. Like, no. Nah. He, he, called you mean, me, he called me back. I was like, yeah. <laughs> no. Nah. And you've been putting for years. years. Nah. That's hilarious. Wait, well, hold on, hold on. Are you it's... telling me the truth? <laughs> Are you telling me the truth? <laughs> That's so funny. You know? Travis. Is, yeah. He made it, bro. Yeah. Listen, I'm Welcome glad to you. the family. Integrity, family. family. <laughs> to, to ready. Dominic. <laughs> you are dickheads, bro. No, that's that's a big look. Still, I'm glad I'm I'm glad that situation sorted out for you. Because if he gets if he renews his vows, yeah, you might get called up, bro. Right, listen, you might be there. It's one step at a time, though, man. I'm one step at a time, each bro. Day I've seen it. At you, goals, you know, yeah. Because you was at the you came to the stag bit, <gasps> guys. Guess what happened to me, bro? What, brother? You could just that moment there gives you an insight to how this guy's mind works. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shady. I got. Wait, 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 wait. wait listen. Ooh, a shady thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, um, I got uninvited from a wedding. Uninvited. Uninvited. Feels I feel sick. <laughs> uninvited. How? I got uninvited, bro. I've never seen this crazy. before, so bro. Wait. Being on the list, yeah. Being like on the list, like I was, I was going to go to the stag, yeah. But it just there's too much on Ooh. all this. I've just I'm doing too much, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't go to the stag. It's not really about that in it because it's like mm, can't go to the stag. You lot know, and this is like first cousin. This is first cousin biological mom side. Yeah, so you know oh. where we're trying. We're trying to f- like create a relationship, but. Uh, so anyway, okay. but it's still family, no. Though. So it's family, yeah. yeah but there's, then there's a blood relationship. Oh no, it's it's family. This is family, right? But family. then we don't know where we are with each other yet. It, well, we know. I thought we. Well, I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say they knew, but you just didn't know I where thought you. I did. I, so I thought I did, yeah. And then after, like my wife goes, um, guess what? I said, wait, what, babes? She goes, yeah. So we've just been uninvited to the wedding. I said, huh? She and she just like busting up. She thought it was funny. Yeah, oh, and I was like, hold on. So, how did it go? Because obviously, you get oh, the message. invite. Oh, what's that message to say you can't come no more? What did it say? I didn't inquire. She just said, eight days. No, I need to know how it was wait, worded, wait, man. Did you, did oh, you get I the formal to... invite, though? For That's the what I was about to oh, say. Oh, yeah, the formal invite. Oh, with, with a nice paper and everything. And oh, no, we got a formal thing, but we got, no. the, un, we got the informal. Don't give me the, <laughs> the padded letter with the wonderful fold out with the fancy writing and then tell me by WhatsApp. Go for that. No, you need to go leave the message to tell me I ain't coming. No, 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 no. Because I think basically. I think it's just a mad budget thing. I oversubscribed. Think it, it must be oversubscribed. You know when you get in your head when you want to get married and then when it turns out what it's really looking like. And I think, um, I've been, bro, when you get married, yeah, you don't have that feeling that other people have about weddings. In the beginning, you're sensitive and you're like, oh, when it's my day, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, yeah? Brother, 
Listen. When you really like, if someone says to me, "You can't come to your wedding," I don't even get upset. I don't get. Any- I don't. I'm not bothered. Like, nope. clearly, I'm not. I don't yeah. get upset at all. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's it, clearly. There's so much undercurrent. No, but, it's, <laughs> but in all seriousness, though, I, I get as someone who's obviously gone through the um, yeah, the, not even just the the, it's the wedding preparation process. I get it. It's a real one. Unless you're someone that's close to me, though, in which case I do, I still I hold feelings. Mm. But do you all know what you did wrong on the lead up to your wedding? Because everyone does something stupid. Did wrong? Since, yeah, like something that you think mm, I should maybe shouldn't have done that. Um, you don't know yet, as in. You know, thing? like it could have been friends. You could have like fell out of friends. You could have done anything, anything that you thought mm, I didn't need to do that. Mm. Oh, you know, I have done. No, I kind of kept because mine was small. I yeah. kept mine on the list of like I weren't doing the. Yeah, I'm reaching out to this person. Of course, I Travis to. made no mistakes. No, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I was small. There wasn't that much room to, to so do you that. You couldn't make no mistakes. There's no there's nothing. Mistakes. It's there's not no, about mistakes. There's no room for error on the on the whole everything that you got done. Honestly, like the whole process leading up to it is not fresh in my mind like that. Right? Mm. I'll be honest with you. So it's like all I can think of the day. I don't remember being upset about anything on the day. Mm. So I'm like, I can't really recall. I think. Um, my missus probably will be able to have her list. But you know, I was a passenger seat in the process. <laughs> yeah, I think in the planning process. <laughs> That's why it's like, it was fine, bro. Blessed vibes, like. I think I was a little bit too much like, well, so I was kind of like leaving it to my missus to sort out. So I think I should have um, retrospectively yeah, kind of stepped in more, more and um, not exerted my authority, but I should have kind of maybe had more of a say in certain things. So in some, some ways I looked at it and said, oh, it's not really my place to say in it. It's kind of- Oh, like, yeah. it's your day type vibe. Yeah. Oh, you went with the whole, it's your day, I'll just don't worry, yeah. whatever. But then but that's like, it most starts men, off that way, but then it is a lot of stuff to deal with as well, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah. See, I, look, my thing is, remember I, I got rid of um, two of my best men in it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said, you man can't do this job for me. You man are not serious. It's crazy. Like, maybe you know. when I look back at it, I think, well, I shouldn't, probably shouldn't have picked them in it. Because <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it wasn't the best, do you know what I'm saying? But then... But then if I look back, because you're sensitive. When, and I was the first, in the batch, I was the first to get married out of my batch. Mm, mm. So he pick, he pick you have- to, Okay, man. When you pick- <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh my God. That is funny. He nah. said, okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> they must say good enough, man. <laughs> no, they're good, they're good. But then they're just, no. Nah, it's it's like, I should have known their, I should have known my brethren's limitations before the- before the big day. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So I put them in a mad position that it probably was never going to be able to um, live up to. Then after you have in your head, you have what you think is going to be at because you watch all these films, Hangover mm-hmm. and all these other things. What the, ex- do you know if you're first, what you imagine the wedding experience to be yeah, 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 yeah. to what it really is. If you're like late, if you get married after the train of all your friends get married, then you kind of have a more a, uh, realistic yeah. look at it. But when you first, you said, we're going, bro, when I thought about my stag and everything, yeah, I thought I was going to Vegas. Oh, I see what you're saying. I get you. I get From you. Vegas to Shoreditch is crazy. <laughs> do you know what I realized about weddings, in, Yes. And do you know what I realized about weddings? That's hilarious. Oh, wait, wait, what? Did, did he get in? I said, from Vegas to Shoreditch and not getting in. You didn't get into your. St- you didn't get to the venue. Go for places you pass. Don't even scun for. Bro, we you know we we trust you. It's mad. It's it's mad. And I just had enough. I just said, nah. You look. I remember. You look in this. Fuck off. That is so funny. In <laughs> hindsight, gave, in wait, hindsight, no. But then it's funny. Is what's so funny is because they obviously they sold cloth in that. Yeah, for my bridgens, their size. I gave it to the new greensman. <laughs> Do you know what I've realised about weddings, bro? <laughs> You know, what I've come to realise is that yeah, and as much as it's a big day for you, no yeah. one really cares about your, and not in, not in a malicious way, but because I've, I've been confused by this for other people's weddings. Like you see people's, your brothers, sisters, yeah. aunties, uncles, mum, dad, doesn't matter how close they are to you. Yeah. Anyone can act out on your wedding day. Best man. Yeah. Um, maid of honour. Like even, Give, even the, even the wedding organiser, organizer, like. No, they shouldn't act out. No, the wedding organizer acting up is still, insane. That's no, their bro, job. It happens. It happens. That's their job, bro. It happens. Let 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 people be putting pressure on, on the wedding organizer. Oh, they can turn some you. People, still. Some people can fold under pressure, bro. I've seen it. I've seen it. So. I feel like now because I ho- I've hosted bare weddings leading up to this thing. Yes. So you know you're usually around an environment, but you're not really. You just kind of just a, a, a spectator. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I'm not here as a cele- I'm not celebrating this. I'm yeah, working. Yeah, yeah. Here to so you're just watching I'm it up close. I'm not a celebrant. I'm just here to watch, bro. 
But what is your thing? Like now, I feel like I'd know a, a bit of an insight of what it would require to be a best man because yes, of yes, seeing yes, what yes. you was doing for my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas before, I'd just be like, I'll organise the stack. <laughs> like that's literally the extent of the journey. <laughs> it would be a mad wake up call, bro. You're really involved in someone's celebration, bro. <laughs> I, I, do you know, I think that's a good point, actually. I think it's probably the weight of expectations people put on people. So yeah. I think I've looked at people's weddings and thought, this isn't even my wedding, but I feel like I'm doing more than your your family's doing. Like yeah, people just are more concerned about themselves or how they look or making sure they look good or in their photos. I'm like, bro, if things need to be done for your brother's wedding, yeah, yeah, yeah. do them. I don't care if you wear the suit. Move the chairs, they need to be moved. Yeah, 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 yeah that's is, right. Some people have the mindset, I'm the best man. Why am I touching chairs? I'm just your here, job to, is I'm to, here to look good. And that's to, mad. And so it's like that whole thing about having genuine conversations about expectations, I think is an important thing because even mm. for me, it's like on my wedding, there's things that I expected to happen in certain ways that didn't happen the way I expected. So mm. I was like, okay. But it's only over, t- over time and being at people's weddings, being the best man for different people mm. and seeing how people move, I understand that, okay, it's me, it's my expectations that I put upon people. And yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. unfairly. But that's what I'm, that's, that's the, that's the learning. Obviously I was looking for from Travis, but Obviously, he's perfect. That's so. hilarious. <laughs> you, know, you didn't just hear me say. You didn't hear me say. I've learned from you being the best man. No, you said I know you what's required. No, you said you had to go to another wedding where you're where you're working as the hero. Yeah, and then you're saying, I'm like, the host. Look, at all, look at all holes in these little situations. No, 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 no. I'm talking before I got married. I was hosting these weddings and not really clocking. <laughs> you're a dickhead. But she went to the wedding. And was like, I'm better twist, than this. I'm better than all of this. Words. I'm better than this. You look at these little bubbles of you. You look like tabloids. You look like see what's wrong. You look like tabloids. I didn't see nothing wrong with my wedding because it's small, but I can see the holes in these little situations still. Hey, why is he over there? Yeah, you like, just <laughs> look at these men twisting my words. You look like dickheads. Uh, brother. Uh, brother. Uh. What's that? <laughs> you look like uh. sick, bro. Brother. Uh. You look like. Let's eat the rice. When the bride's coming up, you know. What's that, brother? What's that, brother? <laughs> I'm glad you man find this funny. It's not funny still. <laughs> Dickheads. I heroic I hate this narrative. I heroic travel will always be excellent, fam. I said I was hosting these weddings I before my you. wedding, bro. I Don't try to twist it like bro, I'm doing it. I heard you, bro. The, the, the audio, everyone heard you as well, Why man. Are you Why are you shouting for, man? Hey, listen, we're getting brought up on charges, though. We are. Because they're saying that we, we took down three shots. The people are saying that we went in there and dismantled <laughs> three shots. The bro, pod fam. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> we went in there starting a madness. Bro, we listen. The pod, bro. <laughs> bro, we read the tea leaves, bro. We went in there and read the tea leaves. Bro. Is, <laughs> as, com- as comedians, yeah, you got to understand, we know how to walk into a room and, yeah. read, and read energy. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we said, what's going on in there? We said, we felt the vibe of division. Hey, what's going <laughs> hey, what's going on right now? No, but I couldn't, you know, I, no, people said you lot are out of order. Yeah, we was I reckless saw, on that point. Like, because we, we're in reckless, yeah, but then obviously he must have, he's known in his head that he's leaving in it or he's making his decision. Fam, so, unbeknownst it, to us, when we were in there shooting, <laughs> thing is, yeah, you got to understand the backstory, in it? Taser came on our pod. Yes. And he came in there loud. Ready to oh, go. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. was early in our pod journey. Yeah, he yeah, came yeah, in yeah. and said, yo, bam, bam, I pod. Remember he said, yeah. he said, I <laughs> pod. <laughs> I said, okay. He's, <laughs> he, we sat there, we was like, he's him. He's really, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really a he's, brother. He's a shot. He's definitely yeah, one of the yeah, shots. Yeah, one of the shots. So we came back and we were like, bruv, it's a bit different now still. We got the guns in our waist as well. <laughs> pulled yeah, up in there, pulled up in their boat. It was on a bad boy thing. <laughs> <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> what you, what gonna you gonna do? do? <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> they said, wait a minute. You better one man down. It's an equal fight, bro. Marv didn't know how to react. He started yeah, talking about yeah. a and eggs and uh, and, and, and bro, it was all going crazy over there, yeah, fam. man. He's still trying to. He's still looking for the picture. So I'm bro, hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing he's still looking right. for the picture. Still, I, I watched it. See this year, <laughs> he was scrolling. <laughs> Healed me. <laughs> scrolling. Taser couldn't right, save him, bro. Right, nah. Taser couldn't save him. Hey, you know when? That's when you know you're in trouble. Are you, you on know? page thirteen of Google? <laughs> hey, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's no longer even what you searched anymore. It's just Brother. other random stuff. Brother. Is no, um, but yeah, man. Big so, so what are we saying for the future of, of free shots? No, I reckon Whoa. the Chucky thing is... Well, I think, do you know, can I speculate? <laughs> Let's speculate. Let's speculate, man. I think we have to identify who the Beyonce is going to be. <laughs> wow. We have to identify the Beyonce. We have to. Do you know what I'm saying? They, they both have Beyonce potential, to be honest. This is what I'm saying. So are we going to say Mr. Expose is, uh, is Michelle? Michelle? Yeah. After all After of the- all- 
<laughs> so he said he's got the gospel music route. He's going to launch a new podcast. I surround myself with positive things. I gave us back for that. That's bad, man, though. All right. Oh. <laughs> now, if, he, now, if he launches a gospel podcast <laughs> no, I'll stop feeding this thing bro, The gospel pod bro The gospel pod Man, Listen, said, turned, this, this turned, turned to hands. Leviticus We're going to be looking turned at Leviticus As a sound effect No but, but you know what's mad It's one It's him on his own No co-host This, this is when you know This is who I wanted to be now, wake up, wake up, wake up. Have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> swallowed. Hey, so wait, so he's. But Marv, though, Marv, Marv Ortiz, they both got it, bro. They both got potential to yeah, go solo, fam. Because you know what I'm saying? You don't know who's going to make that motivation tune. Because that's a big tune from Kelly. <laughs> that was a big tune. You don't know who's going to do that. And then who is just going to go crazy? For me right now, yeah. We're seeing the branch out of Taser. Taser's yeah? therefore Taser. He's, he's releasing like solo a tunes. He's releasing solo tunes. They tunes. both released the solo because Marv tried to follow me into the foot the football team. He said he's he said See, he's, he's been saying doing that, it. but he ain't owned it. He said it, he's though. been doing it. Yeah. He's not he's not put a, he's not owned that shot still. This is the thing. I don't know where he's gonna cause you don't know if he could just go to the jungle. Cause anyone that goes to like on the To the jungle. Yeah, you know like how ZZ done Big Brother, mm, he mm. might do a like a like, Oh, I'm a celeb. I could see Marv there still. So could I. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually you wanna see this brother. Yeah. <laughs> I can see Marv just looking straight into the camera like, listen, do you think I'm me? I'm doing me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> You're bluffing. <laughs> I can see that for Marv, 100%. And then, yeah, we can see what you call it. Cause we're seeing the trajectory of what I can see Taser, doing right I now. I can see Taser on Love Island though. Mm. Be the oldest, the oldest one. Oldest one. But he make it run though. No, but is he? Is he? Is no, he but he. You know, no, but you know who Taser? Taser will come in as the other. You know the other where they, the, the girls go to another place. Oh, He's one of them. Man. Oh, oh no. she's coming back that, to Taser. To ruin, to ruin the whole setup. Castle Castle Absolutely, <laughs> Bradley from Southampton has never seen anyone with this much game up close. But what's crazy though is if he comes back and, and people are like, hey, is that Taser? <laughs> They said Bradley from Southampton. Bradley oh, from Bradley. Southampton oh. against Taser Black. Are you mad? It's a mismatch. It's a mismatch. <laughs> <laughs> and he's oh, to, bro. He probably talked to the sister that hasn't been getting oh, no play oh, this bro. whole time. Yeah, because you know- He's you making know, it to the villa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because they always put that black girl in there that's going to struggle. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, the one that is like- The love island Oh, this is getting on my nerves. Oh, well, well, hey, this is the last time we're going <laughs> to- If that drops again, If this it's drops done. again, we're, it's done. It's done. It's done. If it's done. This is <laughs> we're getting out of here like Mr. Explorer. <laughs> can't keep doing that. We can't keep doing that. We can! We can. I was going to say as a disclaimer, he- left of his own volition. We love before. those guys, but they, like know it's yeah, they know it's love, yeah. bro. We must. Love. We Again, don't need to disclaim. Bro, We've known this man for over 10 years, bro. We don't need to explain <laughs> this. They knew this was coming, fam. <laughs> we <laughs> must talk, talk about uh, it. Open slot, so, you know. Nah, so Marv, um, Marv on, mm, on uh, not, bro. I'm a celeb. Hold on, is this a mad situation for us? I could of leave, course. you know, I could. I might go. <laughs> I'm being a new shot tequila. <laughs> <laughs> if you man start moving man, I'll, I will apply. I'll Can I apply. be like the non alcoholic shot? Ah, <laughs> oh, so you're not getting it. You're, man, not getting it. you're not getting this it. This man said the, 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 so you could the friendly a, mojito. The, 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 the safe mojito. Safe mojito, man. I'm got, look, I'll go over there still. Mm. You saying? No, but do you reckon they do the colorism thing and just replace it with like how they did Aunt Viv? Like they just, are they gonna, what are they gonna do? I like skin exposed. <laughs> What? Uh, underexposed. Now, you know, he'd be like, like poet. Uh, overexposed. <laughs> overexposed. <laughs> he'd be poet. He'd be poet. Oh, wait. Poet or Muggs? And not explain it as well. <laughs> Muggs would be a good fit over there. Yeah, still. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> transfer really. window. The transfer window. No, but, it's bad, but, no, but no introduction, though. Just yeah, suddenly, yeah, yeah, yeah. poet is in Something's there. Something's different. Something different. <laughs> but there's three the voices. Is crazy, though. The way they did that on Thingy is should is not forgiven, you know. It was horrible. The bro. way they got rid of Aunt Viv, yeah. And they did it on my wife and kids I was as well. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nasty. The like, what is Just that though? Switch the daughter, bro. And they do it for the um, I'm sure for the overexposed. They one always of them. Go, one of like, them. Something's different. One of them had a line. Yeah, there was a line where they come in like something's different about you today, Claire. And it was just like that's how we move. <laughs> Crazy. That's man. how I've ordered. 
When you look back now, it's very mad. Do you know what, yeah? So just imagine on this pod right now, it's so foolishness, yeah? Because if they go lighter, then for you, is it just someone white? <laughs> like me and What's me that? and someone from Sheffield. Like if you leave, oh, if I like, leave it, you go lighter. <laughs> you're a dickhead. <laughs> Hi, my name's my name's Steve from Sheffield. <laughs> Let's say you're on the limit of Petita. But his full, his full name is Trevor. Uh, you lot got me yo, down as light skin on this pod. It's hilarious. Yo, yo, well, colorism, man. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, we we covered we covered the podcast. Everything happened in that pod. Are we can we put up our top five that should go in and replace though? What the what um, the candidates? For the, yeah, the candidates. Oh, for the the last shot position. Yeah, so I wanna I wanna put up Afro poet, um, Afro poet in the in the in the ring just wait. because there's a there's a taser. Yeah, I think you'll be a good fit for the my dynamic. man from Brum. My man from Brum that could be a good to that? expand the audience. He's always talking, man. He's got was, was easy Mills as well, man. Ah, oh, side man, side man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He could, hey, he, you think do you think a woman could take the place? Nah, nah, nah. I feel like it's a it's a it's, it's a, a, it's a yeah it's man. a man's it's a man's den that, that yeah yeah you know yeah, yeah 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 so wait hold on so we we're putting the side man side man po- we're poet poet definitely o- obviously poet is over with the Chucky's pod but yeah I can do two pods again. yeah yeah it's, it's a, what Chucky nah it's, nah, nah, nah nah he's then, he's the main front man on yeah. his yeah. yeah oh man it starts to get nuts still what about what's his name from box was it Dan? Hey, Savage Dan. Yeah. Savage, Savage Dan, Dan was one of the original voices on that point. Mm. Early. That'd be a good but then Savage Dan is a promoter. He's 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 really doing the top hat boxing promoter thing still. Mm. Yeah, so it can't happen anymore, man. Doubling up on that one is is it's a lot. Yeah. Well, we're still there's openings, bro. Mm. Don't what, leave though, Trav. What do you no, think? Trav's in his head like, like, bro. Listeners who also listen to <laughs> free shots. Transfer of window. Yeah. <laughs> in the in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know who you think would make a good yeah, third man. shot. That's funny still. Oh, I think they're just going to just go with it, that as them, man. Double shot, what are you saying? Yeah, no, it's the free, still free shots, even though there's like... Yeah, it's a brand, and you can't just be switching up on Do that. you know what's yeah. mad? I was just thinking about it. If there was like a league of podcasting where people just like got transferred to, to different pods and... Mm. And it's like a big signing. <laughs> Bro, podding, yeah. That'd be a weird situation still. I don't know if you look like... you. I don't know if you look pay attention to like American pods. But like the breakup, like you got to, because they've done it. This is not a breakup. This is just like a diplomatic, you know, I want to do something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life is nice. Bro, if you've been watching, this. Joe Budden had this thing, yeah. He had a um, podcast called See the Thing Is, there's ladies, yeah. Bro, they broken up, yeah. And T, fam. Mm. When I tell you revealing, revealing, fam. And you know, we need to start to see why pods, because you have to, any pod that's been together for, maximum a year yeah you actually have to give them praise you know because these are it's these are different personalities <laughs> in a room different ways of working weekly. and you weekly mm. and you have to be able to understand each other and move mm. so if you see a podcast that gets to um what number would you Even say 10 eps i think you know 30 eps 30, 30 eps is a lot though. 30 eps i think got- after 15 you can see the cracks the real cracks mm. <laughs> 15 you can see the cracks. And a brand new pod where people ain't podded before Cause it's funny because us we came into this pod, but we've got like how many two hundred and something? We yeah, we're yeah, yeah, un- undefeated. Like five we passed years or we've gone yeah, through, five yeah. years. Yeah, like, yeah, and that's yeah. two hundred, in- not including Monday night smoke. Monday night smoke, and then yeah. the extra shows we were doing at one point. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're up into the four five hundred. Yeah, think. so we're not we're, we're not new. We're, like, yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> that, that really is fine. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we've done that. We podded through lockdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. We stand the test of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm, but I'm talking. You know, and it ah, uh, the signs are horrible because people listening to this right now probably even thought about starting a pod, and it's the group. <laughs> You're in the group, <laughs> and things are not getting done. It feels like a great idea. Things are not getting done, yeah. and you call someone else that's a part of the pod, and you're just bitching with each. <laughs> See the thing with. <laughs> I said I said it to him on Monday. You said- know. <laughs> oh, now we got no clips. Oh no, <laughs> where's the clips? So, so I go and edit the clips, and then organize the. Come on, bro. Hey, when are you going to start thinking about subjects, though? Because man, are just turning them to the phone. You ain't making Not no prepared. suggestions, bro. I don't Come see on, you in the man. group chat. Come on, bro. It's just, at this point, it's just us, bro. <laughs> you just like, fam. And then when you have to start playing for space as well. <laughs> And, and people aren't putting their peas in. I don't think, oh, that's not the kind of nuts, you know. You <laughs> like, 
Hey, man, damn. Hey, no, wait. Hey, wait. This is going out as a clip. It's a journey. This must, because people can relate and they might not want to like these. They might not like this because oh, it's ugly. It's this real. is the ugly it's truth. This is the ugly truth. This is the ugly truth, bro. This and the it. groups be, it, it gets nuts. <laughs> it this gets is nuts. the flip side to when people say podcast equipment is becoming too cheap. Oh. The flip side to it is, though, the social cost can be expensive. The bro. social cost is the real. The social cost and friendship? It's oh. what because you know what it is some people think the friendship is way stronger than it is, and they, oh. put, they put a podcast on that fragile friendship. <laughs> it caves in. Hey, how come you don't talk to it? It's a dickhead. Yeah, it's like how can we don't talk? Uh, to be honest, after you done the pod, it was just so like just saying that on the pod. Yeah, is that what, are those the things we're talking about now? Yeah, all right, all right, cool. You, you learn a lot, boy. It's hey. real. All right, so all the going news, out, I swear. All the, going news, out. all the news. <laughs> Ah, that's the one. That's when he knows over. When you do that pod, and it's done, and the energy and everything's wrong, it's over. <laughs> I'll delete the whole YouTube. I swear. When the, <laughs> no, you know, yeah, I tell you what's funny though. This is how you know a friendship is. Oh real. wait, wait, wait. When the no, friendship wait, can exist you. when the pod breaks down. Oh, ah, yeah, bruv, yeah. I did a pod. Yeah, we started another pod. Cool name for a podcast. Years oh yeah, ago. I remember that. I was episode happy that ten. You, you started the pod without me. So. <laughs> Episode tell you, me and my brother Latif, yeah, that's my yeah. dog to this day. Great we guy. had one of the most violent arguments about Kanye West. Oh my word, bro. End to end action, fam. Nobody was relenting on their point. Yes. At the end of the pod, my brother said to me, I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> he goes, Trump, you know me, I'm a man of my principles. It is what it is. Like, bro, I love you, you know it is already. Yeah. I'm not, I can't come back on it. I can't, no. <laughs> And it's one of those where I'm just like, I hear it. I hear it because that yeah, was, yeah, we're, that we're both, we're both. Yeah, 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 <laughs> and yeah. it's, there was no more pod, bro. We had our, we, that's what I'm saying, but we had our one, but then there was oh, no way to end it though. We had our one. Vegas. When, Vegas. We had our one. We had, the, we had our one for four hours about boxing. Listen. And then he, just, he went for a walk. The okay. pod, the pod, <laughs> yeah. For a walk, the bro. other cameraman, Kev. He yeah. was outside smoking, innit? Yeah. I went out to find him. He was on the, uh, he smoking some weed. Jeez. I said, I need, I need some of that. I was mad. <laughs> that's it, it's done. That's done. That's done. <laughs> I was mad. I was still mad. I was still mad. Like, right. But then this is when, when I- When the knew, camera yeah. went off and we wrapped up the pod. Up, silent, straight out. Yeah. No, we just, they, they turn, we turned off the, bro, you're missing it. We was arguing on the pod. Stopped recording. Oh, and then kept on continued arguing. Continued arguing again. There was bare different points that happened. Then it went to the point where we was meant to go out. It was in Vegas, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're meant to be raving, bro. We're in the city, bro. We're in the city. Everyone's in silent, wrapping up the cables. <laughs> yeah, we look at each other like, bro, what's it? So you know when you get to that point of the day where, uh, I don't think we're raving, you know? Because it could to be. Fam, no one was inquiring about tickets, nothing. They just... <laughs> We no one's getting changed, in. nothing. We oh my no, word. No, no, that argument was so funny. And then, yeah, it, that's, that's funny. That's funny. But then after the morning, it's like, you saying? You saying, man? <laughs> <laughs> you man getting breakfast or always? Because <laughs> man, they don't address nothing. No, man, no, no, man no, getting food. No, we knew, we knew. We, the killer is there. And that's the, you have to put with someone that you can like, you can, you can get over with. those, you, you can fight, get over yeah. those situations with. Because if you can't, it's not going to work. That's 100%. the thing as well. Like, I think when you podcast and you're really talking about things, you're kind of going in in a way that you might not. Yeah. You might be in a social setting where it's just like, you know what, I'm not going to, Go into this, but the whole yeah, point yeah. of having the conversation in the pod is to go into to it. Go yeah. in. And so now you're uncovering things that mm -hmm. know, you're opening doors that usually don't get opened. Brother, Brother. Brother. And now you're there bucking heads. Oh. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. What's boy. right now, though? This is probably loud to someone. Someone's sitting here thinking, bro, they're I'm to not to happy. Even I'm not they're happy to with this pod. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's how I feel with you. But I think you should message, you know what? Let's let's do amnesty for people that are in pods that they want it to end here. Yeah? <laughs> what I want you to do is send them this clip. <laughs> Say, you know what, bro? I don't want to talk think, to you about this. What do you think about this clip? You know. Just start there, see where they live. <laughs> <left. laughs> no, but we got to give them the way out as well. Oh, so, okay, okay. so we got to say right now, yeah, send this to your friend and then just say, Ra, I'll do it for you. Bro, I need to leave. <laughs> We're cool, but we can't do creative work together. It's love though. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Hopefully we can mend. Hopefully we can what is broken. Resume the friendship that once hey, existed. Put some soft music over yeah, that, yeah, and, yeah, that yeah, and then yeah. it'll be good, man. And then every friendship is safe. That's wicked, uh, bro. Because that's a good amnesty. Someone friendships. Send that. Not man. all friendships can survive a pod. They can't. That's the message. They can't, bro.
It, it's real. <laughs> bro, we've been through this as well. Man, we, just be like, bro, this group chat, we should take it on the road. <laughs> It's such a and funny not concept. Every group chat, bro, not every group chat should make it to the stage. That's bro. only funny to you, man. Fam. <laughs> That's just and bro, the group is not strong enough yeah. for the stage. Oh, when you have the jokes on camera, it's different. You know, it's you different. know where you can. It's like, you got idiots, man. Close the group chat. Yeah, yeah. We are yeah. sitting there in the room and someone's just yeah, you know, sitting there in that you're like, oh, yeah, just man. go right. It's different wave. when I can't tell my photo, bro. <laughs> the wave. We might get, a, we might win an award. We might win a win a Nobel Peace Prize for what we just did. I hear it. There's a lot of a lot. pods. There's a lot of pods and a lot of relationship that we brought. I think we saved. I, I hear it. Well still. done to us, bro. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> so listen. All right, let's move. Yeah. Gun. A lot of wild things going on in the world. They brought Diddy up on a free call charge. Oh, the free call. <laughs> the what charge? They brought him on a free call charge. They raided the yard. Take that. Take that. Homeland Security took was that, involved. Took that. Do you know what's mad, yeah? I don't think people realise it, yeah? Homeland Security, they need to get something, they need to have evidence substantially enough to get it approved where they can just ransack your yard. Homeland Security. I've up. watched a lot of American films, yeah? <laughs> They feel like the uh, biggest branch. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, they didn't pull up in SUVs. They pulled up in tactical gear. Like, oh, yeah, saying, absolutely. We're, like, as if we're, we're, expecting, we're expecting anything when we go into this property. As if they're going to meet Scarface himself Bro. on the stairs. <laughs> what intel you do they play have? Rough? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say hello. Bro, what type of intel do they have on Diddy for that to need to be the approach? Intel. Bro, the intel. Bro. When I was seeing people say that Diddy left on the private jet, I said, oh, he knew. <laughs> this bro. thing could go off. Oh, no, no. So Diddy's got the wicked lawyers. Someone would have tapped him on the shoulder and said, hey, get out of there. Tomorrow. But You know, <laughs> you know a- when you get that message? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tomorrow. It's, Wait, it's, it's, it's on the tarmac. It's ready to go. <laughs> but, what's, but what's bad is, he left the Utes. <sighs> he left the Utes, in it? He got into the car. So take that. <laughs> he sat down to think you know you shut the door I see you thinking of me <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> and <laughs> now all the songs yeah all the songs there's one song in the <laughs> all the songs yeah cause even when you listen to that song last night <laughs> I couldn't even get an answer oh, try to call <laughs> But probably let me down. <laughs> it was all a dream. I used to rip word up. Are you ready to get rid of the? Are you ready to? If something, if it goes wrong, yeah. Are you ready to get rid of the catalog? Because we've done that with every other artist, and he's part of I many just, cat. You know he is a part of. Are you willing? Are we going to keep the same energy with the catalogs? Because did you keep the same energy with R. Kelly? Yes, I did. You don't listen to any R. Kelly. I don't music? listen to R. Kelly. Any Isley? Who? The Isley Brothers. Contagious, busted. Busted. It's two and a half o'clock in the morning. Where you been? Baby, did you get my message? I was with my girlfriend. You were alive. alive. <laughs> I got Keisha and Tony, and they were both at home. <laughs> what are the only friends I know? Girl, you're better. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> and. <Wow>. And. <laughs> Ronald Isley's the man, fam. You've got to Mr. be Biggs. out of your mind. Mr. Biggs, how are you going to sing the story? But hold on. So we say you don't, you're not messing with that no more. That song, if it comes on, I'm playing it to the end. <laughs> so, oh, Contagious is another one. Contagious you're is contagious. a... Brother, that shit. I like the interlude to Mark Kelly. <laughs> Wait, I, I know you from somewhere. Well, oh. how the hell you... How you know my name, Sean? <laughs> Listen, yeah. You didn't get away. You didn't, you didn't get rid of, of Mr. Biggs. That's what you're asking man to do for Diddy. All these extra arms, Mr. Biggs. What about my man Craig Mack, fam? Special delivery. Oh. You ain't bopping that, bro. You got to give up Mace. everything. Now, nah, Mace be the man. Mm. Want to see you because they're on the song together. I don't get More money, more problems. You wouldn't have hurt. What about the Benjamins? You the bat. Listen, nah. this is it. We're gonna have to say Diddy specific count. One twelve. <laughs> Come on, man. Sweet love, you're not gonna bump that tune again. All the songs are gone. <laughs> now, I think we need to get to a stage because we don't know who to trust. We need to get to a stage where we do that separation thing that people say. No, listen. Separate I'm, the artist no, from the man. No, we can drop the Diddy album. No, we can't. Because he's his hand. I can get rid of that. You can get rid of that. I listen to the original if I need to hear that riff. Nah, I have to man. play that for his career. Just thing. 
Yeah. Too laggy. His name is the Jack Flow. <laughs> At least the Jackie. That's cold still. You can't get rid of that. <laughs> even if, even if you did it, in the cold shows and go. He's going crazy with the shoulders. Hey. Ding, 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 ding. We ain't go, go and big shot. We ain't on the hall of me. <laughs> Um, Loon, bro. Uh, What's the problem? You need alcohol for. By any means, I support you. Raising the fire. Hey, what? I need to go to red, red, red. What are you going to do? Usher, bro. Usher. Usher. A lot of usher. Are you ready listen, to be? Listen, this listen. is what I'm let's, saying, let's, bro. Let's focus on the man right now, yeah? Okay. We don't need to get to the music just at this particular juncture. This is it. Let's, this is... We need the charges to be in all. We need to. I need to see the details Bro, of the charges. I've sent you something. You have sent me something. I've sent you something, and this is giving you a go, better breakdown right. of what's going on. So, from September twenty second to November two thousand. Sorry, so November September twenty twenty two to November twenty twenty three. Yeah, Mr. This Jones. In the, this is in the report, by the way. The a summary of events. Yes. Yeah, so. Mr. Jones produced nine songs on Mr. Combs' love album. Mr. Jones lived with Mr. Combs for months at a time, spending holidays, birthdays, and missing major family events. Mr. Jones resided at Mr. Combs' residence located in Los Angeles, California, and New York City, and Miami, and Florida. Sorry, Miami, Florida. Mr. Jones also spent several weeks on a yacht rented by Mr. Combs in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Several weeks on a yacht. This is a long time on the That's boat, a long bro. time. Long throughout, throughout his time. Time. For his time with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones witnessed, experienced, and endured oh! many things that were far beyond his role as a producer on the Love album. Mm. The claims raised in this complaint have been corroborated through witness statements, video, and audio recordings, and images that Mr. Jones has in his possession. <sighs> Mr. Combs required Mr. Jones to record him constantly. On several occasions, Mr. Combs took Mr. Jones' cell phone and began recording himself. As a result, Mr. Jones has secured hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings of Mr. Combs, his staff, and his guests engaging in serious illegal activity. Mr. Jones has secured irrefutable evidence of the acquisition, use, and distribution. Irrefutable. Homeland Security carry on. Distribution of ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and mushrooms. The displaying and distribution of unregistered illegal firearms. Mm? Mr. Combs providing laced worst. alcoholic beverages to minors and sex oh. workers at his homes in California, New York, the Virgin Islands, and Florida. Mr. Combs' chief of staff instructing her staff to retrieve drugs so she can provide it to Mr. Combs for his consumption. Mm. Christian Combs drugging and sexually assaulting a woman. Mr. Combs dealing how he planned to leverage his relationship with Bishop T.D. Jakes to soften the impact on his public image. Of wake Cassie up, wake up! Ventura's lawsuit. Mm. Young Miami's cousin and or assistant sexually assaulting Mr. Jones. Cuba Gooding Jr. sexually harassing and assaulting Mr. Jones. Rapper I redacted. I from on, yeah, I saw you. <laughs> on Mr. Combs Yacht consorting with underage girls, sex workers, and R&B singer redacted in Mr. Combs LA home consorting with underage girl and sex workers. Yikes. Yikes. Cuba Gooding Jr. It's Chief just, Gooden was a redacted boy. He didn't just, have enough money to redact they, him. He didn't have the redaction fund. Fam. He didn't have the redaction funds. Rede bro, mm -hmm. <laughs> Cuba, Cuba Gooden. Cuba needed. not having the redaction funds is upsetting <laughs> for me, bro. No, not redact, having the redaction bread is bro, crazy. Because the redaction bread, they, they must hit you up and say, yo. Your name's going to be your in this thing, by the way. This, what are you saying? Do you want us to redact you, it? You got that? You got that? <laughs> you got the redaction money. That's it, no. No. It's like expensive, like Mocha. That's, that's it, all right. Well, it's, it's landing yeah. tomorrow, so there you know. And you're in the house sweating, bro. bro. How many phone calls have you Peele made? <laughs> Key and pill, you know that, bro. How many phone calls you made to get that bread? <laughs> Yo, bro, I need five hundred k. You got five hundred k? Borrow me. Listen, for what, bro? You know when you got to break the bread down so you can get it from loads of different people. Hey, bro, Listen, I beg you, borrow me. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I need you, boy, forty pounds. I need five. <laughs> I need five hundred k, bro, for tomorrow. But if you can't do the whole thing, like just whatever you can do, bro. <laughs> the minute you say the whatever you can do, that immediately knocks it down to ten bags. We're not getting. We're not. No, I, <laughs> ten bags. No, when this, if someone says whatever you can do, I don't. You're not gonna see this money back from this person. That sounds. This like is the a, last time you're you know gonna what? talk to this person. I can't do it right send, now, but <laughs> my lawyer. It, you're gonna send in the money, and you're never gonna see this person again. It's tapped, bro. It's no, on a serious note, man. This no, these charges are crazy. These charges are insane, bro. It's like, and cause Homeland, Homeland apparently, Homeland get involved if it's happened in different, like in a different country and stuff. If right. these things, so it goes. It's a step above 
Um, because they're usually the FBI and this would get involved. Yeah. But what it does say though is there's this, you know, there's this conspiracy, and you know, here for the conspiracy theories every now and then. Um, that he's because he's up there, he's not Diddy's not a small boy, but he's got videos on many, many people, politicians, head of universe, like oh, loads they're saying. So, this the, apparently. People were saying, you know, this whole going into the houses is staged for politicians and everyone to get back the data because he's oh. using that oh. as a, you see how a Epstein, leverage. remember how Epstein had that mad, his oh, folder list, list and everything his crazy. list. And then after all of a sudden, he somehow he just miraculous, he just, one day he's, he's gone. Yeah. I, I saw something saying that Diddy had cameras in every room he in his has house. that's what i'm mm. saying so if just imagine you're coming for this guy he can still hurt he can still bring down a lot of people is what i'm saying so people are like when they get went to the house it's like it's a retrieval as well to go and get back because like we can't let that footage if someone's getting down it must just be him and he can't use this against us it's mad it's very it's very it's it's mad bro it does seem like it's sad because it's a sad end it feels like it's a sad end to someone that is the top mogul of of the game. Yeah, I mean, this is a cons this is all conspiracy. What at the end of the day, what you're saying? Do you know what I mean? I hear yeah. it, but it's one of the ones where it's like we got we're going to find out whatever we need to find out. They don't that, turn up like that to your house. I hate you. I'm saying, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They have to have enough evidence to make these moves in the first yeah. place, but we're going to find out the details. Yeah. That's why I'm just like, I hate the conspiracy of the retrieval thing, and da, 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 da. but it could just be a case of this information, this guy's come, because otherwise this, this guy's, tr he's already, he was right there. Yeah. That stuff would. There's many people that are right there. Yeah, no, I hear it's, it. And when it, that Cat Williams thing. <laughs> you gotta tell him no. There's, but even when he said, look, things that it don't matter who you are, things are coming out. 2024, it's a different year. Have you, no, but have you seen the 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 psychic that predicted all of this about Diddy? No. Oh my gosh. Let me get let me find that. No. There's a psychic who has made these claims, bro. No. That's why it's, it's this time she's just in the in the circle, really. Fam. Well, yeah, can you imagine there's a psychic would, that would be has crazy. visited the freak off? Freak. Psychic at the free call. That's <laughs> She's got the unredacted money in it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't uh, know that. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Look. An utter takedown of P. Diddy and his three right hand men. Okay? Three. So there's going to be a takedown that comes in with that. And he's going to try to step away. You, He's. They're not done. And here's another thing I'm being shown. His mouth is being sewn up. So when I see his face, the image I get is the mouth is being sewn up. So he is going to be unable to speak for some reason. I can't talk. I cannot speak for myself anymore. This to me sounds like a losing of faculties a losing of thought a losing of thinking i cannot speak but it's sewed up around his mouth that's actually how i'm seeing it they're going to stitch his mouth shut when i ask her why his mouth is being sewn up it's because of his mentors and they don't want it coming out over here even though some of them are outing themselves these are old guys connected to old time old style motown and she's showing me that He's being shut up from outing them or from speaking about them for some reason. So there's a hierarchy going on here and there's a total takedown of him. He is being sacrificed. So he may think he gets away with stuff. He may think it's cool he does what he does. But now he's the sacrificial lamb. And I do mean that. There's something that comes up with him in March, speaking of the lamb, during the Easter time frame. March, April, right in that time frame. That's why I said lamb. There's something else that's going to come up with him. We are not done. It oh! She said this four months ago. Them spirits there. Bro. I don't like that. That makes me feel uncomfortable. It's, it's a prayer thing after yeah, this. Oh, yeah, in the blood. <laughs> it's a prayer thing. In the blood. Like, even now, Father God. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Remove um, it. Open some songs, That's a man. straight Shanda the Shanda moment, fam. What? I didn't like that. I didn't like that. That's too much, bro. The, the accuracy. No, 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 no. He does, he, he does need to go link her. It does lead into the whole like narrative around, you know, the conspiracy theories in terms of 
spiritually so what's going on with yes, people are saying the, people are saying this year the celebrities this is the end of cele- the, the, the the end of the celebrity as we know it mm, good as, just as a concept good man i find it interesting though like when you talk about like celebrity culture and yeah. how people obsess over it yeah it's mad still like when you really break down you just gassed over just a person this group do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's weird because obviously we, we rub shoulders with the industry. I, I've seen famous people quite a lot, not to sound like I'm a gas mm-hmm. It does. I'm not moved. But we're not moved by it though. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not. So you can be in these, you can be in these places. It's if you're in there and you're willing to risk it all to be there. Like, mm. I'm not like, I'm not, there's the, the, you know, the desperation needs. Like, it's nice. Sometimes it's good to like being at a, like an event, that could be nice. But you know when you just want to be there, you just want to rub shoulders with people, they're not your friends. Mm. You don't know them from nowhere. Like, if now, yeah, you saw me taking pictures, yeah, and it's just with mad celebrities, and you're like, what the hell, where's Travis in that? Like, <laughs> like, what's he, you know, like, where's your... It's one of those, people bridges? know we's both there, but there's no picture of me. Yeah, there. like, what's going on? Like, you, it's, a, it's, it's, what's a, it's, it's a what's going on moment. And I feel like some people are so desperate to be in this group that they'll do weird things to just be around that and maybe even like not think like there's things that they probably thought oh that's not right or that's not on but it's still going mm. and it's that feeling of just wanting to be in that celeb life bro it's it's a myth fam i'm telling you now yeah that i always it's look fugazi. at this whole thing it's, it's a mm, myth bro I, I learned in in year two of stand-up yeah oh this is fake <laughs> like literally i learned in year two of stand-up i go ah oh, because I thought everyone it's, was cool. I, tell you the one I thought everyone always... was cool and everyone was my friend mm. in the game yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And if you have a downturn or just things get harder, where you have to re, you have to grind again, because you start to realize that no, when you're putting mis- stuff out, your that you're not ring. seeing no blue ticks like your phone your don't shit, ring or your phone ain't ringing or all the stuff that happens in the game. Mm. And it's like, well, it's the game. You know, what everyone's I, hunting. What always twanged me here. Yeah? Is when I used to see people who I know don't like each other, besties in pictures and vibing like my brother, my brother, and it's like, nah. The only thing that joins you two together is you both have clout. Yeah. <laughs> so now it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. For this to be a proper friendship. That's that's what I'm like. But when you do, you, that's the. I think that's a great. It's great to learn the lesson. It's the Game of Thrones, in it. Everyone's playing. And you hope the killer is what you do. Because my thing, what I've learned about this game is, you hope you meet some nice people, some genuine people along the way. Mm. Yeah, like you might meet three, four, five. Yeah, but then you hope for those. But you understand, everyone else is playing the game as well. Everyone's trying to make it, and they're gonna do what they're doing to make it. And everyone's got different rules of how far or what they're gonna get into. Mm. Now you gotta say to yourself, if if you're on, if you hold yourself with integrity. I'm not risking everything. I'm not doing like, no, yeah. thank you. No, nah, I'm cool. If this career is going to take me 13, 10, 15 years to get there, by all means, <laughs> I'll, I'll slowly make my way there and I'm going to enjoy the journey. I hear it still. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's go, man. It's crazy the idea that you can kind of just leave yourself trying to find fame, isn't it? Right just- Stinky. It's real. And it's not even real. And then after everyone there, that's everyone there is there and might not even be happy anyway. Uh, yeah. I struggle to understand the, to understand the obsession aspect of it though, because and I think maybe I'm a bit biased in that. Um, mm-hmm. Kind of through my sister, who's kind of like did stuff in the industry and things like mm-hmm. that. And she's like, I think I'm, I got to meet a lot of people at quite a young age. Mm. So I would go to events and see people, and it was weird because the, the the curtain had been removed for me from early. So I was yeah. kind of like. I don't know, I was, I, was, I was never really that excited. I'd see people and it was always, it was always like an interesting contrast between the on-screen persona and when you see them in real life, it's kind of like, oh, you just, oh, yeah. Oh, you don't really look that, Henshaw, you don't really look that. <laughs> Apart from The Rock, though, I saw The Rock and he was, he was impressive. He's, he's him. As a unit, he was, yeah, he was him he's squared. He's really him. Yeah. <laughs> he must say him squared. No, nah, I saw him, I was <laughs> best, but. Go on, but sorry. Yeah, but yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's just interesting, like the idea that people, obsess over a person like to like somebody yeah is one thing but to yeah. be like like uh, this guy is my my idol is just I, I think that aspect of it i've never really understood yeah i hear you bro here's this check this out a buy minute player yeah mm. i think he was crying on what do you call it on twitch yeah he said he opened he's speaking to his followers he said um being a football player this is big like he's playing for a big club bro um 
Being a football player is all very well, but in reality, it's quite hard. In this case, he explained that he feels lonely in Munich as his girlfriend doesn't live with him and he, um, and he will just have a handful of friends. He basically said, I'm a popular loser. Probably. Brother <laughs> said, I'm a popular loser. Um, he said that it's, um, it isn't about money. It isn't everything. What do you call it? He's, bro, he just goes into his situation. I'm like, raw, bro. I'm telling you, this thing, what you, this thing that, this thing that people are chasing, yeah, is some bullshit, fam. I, I, I love it, and I'm, I'm glad that we're getting to the stage where it's getting more people being more honest and just saying, because then it will help. Because everyone's looking at everyone's life, thinking, "Oh, wish I had that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, you know what I mean? Because well, we're in this. Obviously, the social media era has warped everything. The social media thing has warped relationships. Yeah, it's warped every like. Remember when relationship warped. goals came out? Oh my days, bro! What a time, fam. When men started time. obsessing, and you know it was about Terrell Lewis and oh, um, yeah. Nikita. Nikita. They yeah. was getting, oh, they were going crazy on the relationship goal content, fam. Bro, oh. you been in a relationship at that time, and now you're competing with this brother, and this guy just can't miss, bro. This guy's can't shooting miss. from long range, and just bro. Just doing the flag as just, well for no yeah, reason, bro. I'm like, for no reason. He just this guy's got the body work the... thing going. Oh, yeah, crazy. Fam. This guy was. Remember the picture of him on the armrest on the tube? Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah, sitting yeah. there, legs folded, reading a book. Come on, bro. <laughs> How you are you able to hench- compete with this I brother? Get hench- and look after my missus. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do everything. This guy's winning. Yeah, I know him as well. I know, I know him. He's a blessed guy. He's respected as well. So it's bro, like, he, bro. He's telling survive. you got the clock. He, he had all the cred. He had all the yeah. cred box. Bricks and Street Jip. Bro, everything's <laughs> done, bro. And the miss, how? The pressure. What? Bro, and then everything just looks wonderful there. And then it happens. And then that's what I'm saying. People are trying to do, live up to. It's unrealistic. You know what I find most interesting about social media was that like, it was supposed to be the alternative to mainstream media where everything's fake and everything's like processed and polished and it's like not a real representation of what people are like. It took that. Social media was supposed to be. Steroids. That that kind of, the antithesis of that. But then what was interesting was how suddenly it kind of just people did the same thing. Suddenly the same sort of scandals were coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> was like steroids. Pe- people would like be lying about Shade all sorts of things. Blog oh, posts really came out. Oh, mm-hmm. Took it to another level. Hey, speaking of, yeah. So I see a video of um, Young Ads <laughs> this week. <laughs> One of the, and the thing is, what's it's the day? Uh, listen, none of it was supposed to be content or anything like that. But it's that's ended up being the, one that's of the pitfalls of social media. Funny, one of the, the funniest, clips. funniest clips I've go ever go seen go. in my life. A hey, reenactment. He sat re-enactment. down and he's gone to his, his bread. <laughs> Should you play the clip? Actually? Reenactment, bro. All right. He's got he's got to his bread. He's like, listen. So I'm doing a vlog. Yeah. Mm. Um, I just want to say you're doing your thing, my bro. Hey, thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying, can you, bro? Watches jewelry. Yeah, Come on, a bro. lot of stuff here, bro. I've done well, man. Fantastic. Just, Come on, bro. That's <laughs> Congratulations, fam. Absolutely, man. So what know. I'm what I'm doing at the moment, obviously mm. I'm doing a vlog and that. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm donating 10k Brother. to the local Yeah, bro. Yo, that's Come, on, good, bro. You know. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I want you to match me, fam. Like that? On camera. Mm. <laughs> Don't even watch the camera. It's just me and you. Rah. 10k bro match 10k yeah, yeah, yeah. You, come on bro you got that fam like that <laughs> he's like oh have you met your mum oh, I'll take you to meet him fam ah! you see that moment yeah and the thing is he agreed to it but he I'll be real to. let's be real that Cut moment the yeah I'm telling anyone I'm telling everybody right now who knows me and Cut. could talk to me in that way don't you dare approach me on camera like that don't you dare bro if the, if Matt asked me yeah go on ask me just, just, just put it to me hey so listen, um, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like a one-legged football team, fam. Yeah, <laughs> they do thirty k. Yeah, yeah. So I'm doing. That's, I've already put down. I've already put the piece down. That's sick, that's, bro. What do you call it? That's well eleven done, one-legged players, bro. And then <laughs> I see the vision. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So that's dope, I match that thirty k, bro. What's that? Oh, man, Yo, straight camera, away, bro. straight away, I'm zoning on this camera because I realize, oh, you set me up. <laughs> I'll go straight into this camera. Turn off, Kitty. <laughs> turn, you, turn, off, turn it off, Kitty. Watch, watch, watch. It's, it's, but you know, it's, bro, it's been far away as well. Let's watch. You know when the camera ruffles, you know when you, you hear this. Listen. <laughs> but the better thing is, no, here's what will happen, yeah? The footage, because I clocked the camera. I might not even adjust uh, the camera. Straight away, just like, yo, match me. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, run it. But let the footage continue. Don't ever come to me on camera like that. No, again, no, do you know what? Do you know, do you know what's happening now? Yeah, the camera's off. Yeah, but the audio's still running, bro. What are you doing, fam? You know when, but the audio is here. Hey, wait, what's wrong with you, though? Know? Nah, it's this are one. You, you know you violated just now, innit? Hey, you, no, you, I didn't, nah, bro, I didn't know. nah, you know that was a violation. I didn't know, bro. Nah, bro, <laughs> man spent bare peas on the investment of this thing. <laughs> hey, you know, bro, man's... I didn't know. <laughs> the camera's on this side. <laughs> the camera's on. Bro, I didn't know, fam. Man spent bare on this place right now. Bro, this place looking like a proper, <laughs> proper establishment. Bro, You're coming there putting pressure on man. Players, yeah, man. what about bro? That ain't the middle. <laughs> Long term, I don't even know what that looks like. Thirty bags, sixty. Come on, bro. Yeah, the strong subtitles at the bottom. Yeah, the subtitles just there in black. Ah, uh, you know what I know. <laughs> I know what I know. But it's a, a real G though because they filmed that and he still put the content put out. The content out. So we the know. Is, yeah. <laughs> And the thing is, what's bad is this mm. content is the heart is heart in the right place content. Oh, is... Shouts out to Ads, man, and, and his brother as well. No, but he was wrong. Ends, bro. I know this. No, he was wrong. No, no, it was wild. It was wild. He was. That's wait. That is. You know when you talk about habitually stepping the line, crossing the line, yeah. That was a line cross of the of the highest because <laughs> he saying, rated him first. Yeah, yeah, he said, not, "Look at everything yeah, he's, he's done, bro." Yeah, yeah. He put the pressure. He backed him up, bro. That's how you close a sale. Yeah, that's how you close a sale. I remember I used to work in sales. Yeah, ah, bro, when I thought this brother yeah mm -hmm. I, I researched his company I researched all his competitors we had all the competitors sign up I said yo you know this company he goes yeah yeah I know this company so, these are my competitors these guys from Germany he's like these are my competitors so mm. I said yeah we've got them all here how comes your company's not here straight away <laughs> he said oh no 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 we must change that <laughs> Run that sale, bro. Let's you back go. somebody into a corner with the right piece. This is it, bro. So yeah. again, though, big up to my and it's even when he said because you know culturally you can't let down. Man said I'll take you to meet that man as well. He feels yeah, no, it was, that's why I say it's, it's heart in the right place content because that's still it's a solid move what he's doing there. It you was know what I'm saying? Wild, I the approach was though, the approach like, oh, was so what, is there like is there like a project manager and. What's yeah, see, yeah, because now, yeah, because I want to have a conversation with you that I don't really want on camera, but at the yeah, same time, because yeah, yeah. anyone asks me for 10k, I need to understand this journey, I need to understand mm. everything about this. I would have been like, bro, I'd love to support, obviously, it's not, um, if it was slightly different settings, but. I'd love to support what you're doing, but let's talk about this, man. You know, no, um, he didn't want man. that. He didn't want that. Yeah, he wanted, I, no, he wanted the just, Dave stream. He wanted the Dave with the new but, new watch stream, bro. But the thing is, you can't just, especially as a, as a business person, like your income both works quite differently. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like as someone who runs a business, like there's sometimes not a lot of liquidity in the business. It's tied up in stock. Bro, that man just done O2. I don't, I yeah, can't do what he, he literally saying, look, I got cashed out. I got cashed out the other day, so I've got money to burn. Bro, we're not sparring in the same weight class, bro. I don't know why you're, yeah. <laughs> you're just mad. That's it's like, like going out to the club with men that rip, like football players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they might not respect peace. Though. Don't do things to, for image in, um, in the for present. For men that are getting paid weekly. Bro, mm. Listen, it's not even the case it's weekly. Their pockets are deep, bro. They, mm. they get paid that weekly for a few years now. It's not a case of, yeah, we're Friday when they get paid. Bro, they're so Did fine. Did you see when Jay-Z went to the club and they bought drinks and that looked like a lot at many people's annual salary? Listen. Bro, an annual, like, as in. <laughs> and think about how much of those drinks were wasted. Brother. What's Brother. crazy about a lot of those um, artists and celebrities that go to clubs and stuff, a lot of time they don't even pay for the drinks. Oh no! I've heard, I've heard it's like, it's oh. like you know clubs in America. Certain times, like their strip club appearance, you yeah. get like, "Oh, this person's coming." Sometimes they give them money to money throw. To, 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 yeah. So you're there for keeping up with my man. <laughs> That is crazy. and to him, it's monopoly piece. No, I think they're really throwing money though. <laughs> no, it's real they, money. No, I but think they some give of these it, no, guys, they, they give, like hold no, that five k. They give them money to throw. So you're in there competing with him, and he's just sort. Of, <laughs> Making and it's rain. mad because I've heard and it's not his hey, rain bro it's not his rain bro. I've it's heard men then say like, sometimes it's theirs but guys from more time back in the day say like oh yeah like them men were trying to buy bottles so we're buying bottles so it happens like guys that got, have gone out yeah. so you never guy getting bottles on the table sparklers come they're like hey are we going to have that because you do look like a brokey though because you know when other tables flashing and they make the it sparklers the, bro they go to the the other tables sparkling you like had a, that. you like had one parade at your table Listen, I mean, it's like four men over to, there come on bro you need sparklers bro That's, i arranged this everyone you you, you shame will have to hit your table like seven, seven have you, men around a bottle of prosecco it's but crazy. have you seen this thing that happens in some some states in america where they do like they literally pour drinks on the floor wow. they might be look at each other like to show that we're, I think that's ridiculous. To show that we've got it. Nah, I don't. Is I that like the driving stuff? <laughs> the driving's here. Nah, I think that's ridiculous though. I'll tell you right now, the, my logic in my head will not allow me to do that type of thing, bro. 
there's these other clubs here where you can go in America. It's wicked though, because you can actually bring your own drinks to the club. Is it incredible? Like. <laughs> Incredible, like that's a what a night. Mm. You go and get I the drinks that the juices that you want and just pull up, just the, come and enjoy yourself. Yeah, I hear it. So, isn't that like a, don't they do that in Jamaica where people come and have like the create a drink and stuff? Was that I'm like gonna a, step out of this? I'm gonna leave this conversation know. and just um, leave it for I you. I even know, yeah, leave that for me, bro, because we don't want what happened on the free yeah, shots. Yeah. Once again, I know when it comes to the I'll go to the hey, Jamaican my delegation. Knows, my brother knows footballers, yeah, just side stepping that. Um, yeah, and he said that when he went out with them one time, they, they were like dipping money in. Drink mm -hmm. and then like folding up and swallow. and swallow the money. Yeah, like twenties and just. Where was this happening? UK. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's just dumb. That's my. That's just yeah. dumb. Yeah, you know, just, Jay, he cashes. Yeah. Uh, oh, he tap the journey that is going. Hey, on. let's go to Patreon because I want to have another another part of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> All right, we're hey, headed over guys, to Patreon. Wait, hold on. Hey, guys, book tickets to my tour, man. Book tickets to my tour. The tickets are moving. TravisJ.co.uk. It's about to be crazy. Let That's them all know, I'm Trav. Book now, bro. Let's stop playing on my name, fam. Now, but we, hey, we're getting over to Patreon. We're over yeah? to Patreon. But wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. I need to let people on YouTube know. Go on. We're getting over to Patreon, and we haven't finished a lot of stuff that we want to talk about. <laughs> Make sure, sign up to Patreon. You know what to do. It's like buying one coffee a month. You know, just sign up, subscribe. Do all the good stuff, and we'll see you. The hey, Trav, you ready? Yeah, yeah let's roll. Let's turn up. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is here? 